In today's video, walking you through how to set up your Amazon tablet. So go ahead and plug it into the wall, or you can also just turn the power on. Go ahead and select your language as well as country, and you can set the font size down there in the left-hand corner. So after you have everything right, go ahead and click continue. On the next page, it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi router. So go ahead and find your specific Wi-Fi router on the list here. Click on it and then type in your Wi-Fi password so you can connect to your internet, which is going to be very important on your tablet device. So then once you're connected to your specific internet connection, go ahead and click continue. And then after that, it's going to take you to the update page. This is going to be the critical update to start things out here. It's a relatively small file size. It shouldn't take too long, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So we're going to go ahead and install this update and skip ahead in the video a little bit here to speed things up. All right, so now that we've downloaded that update, it's going to go ahead and install it. And then you're going to confirm that this is your device or maybe you bought it for someone as a gift and you want to switch it over into their name, but I'm going to keep this in my own name. And then here's the options page. You can change things like your videos, photos, backups, things such as that. I just recommend keeping all those boxes checked and continuing on. And then you're going to have a larger update here for your tablet. You can do that now or you can wait until later. I'm going to do it now. It's a large file size. It might take a little bit of time, but after that's done, you're going to get the kids-friendly option, but this is going to be an adult device, so we're not going to put in those parental controls. And then on the social networks page, you can connect to things like Facebook and Twitter if you want, but I'm going to continue on. I'm not a Prime member, so it's asking me if I want to join Prime. I'm going to go ahead and click no thanks. You probably won't get this screen if you're already a Prime member. It's also going to give me the option to have a free trial. I'm going to say no thank you to that. So now it's going to move us over and select the apps that we might want to install onto our device. I'm going to skip over this for now. You can always go back and install different apps later, of course. All right, so now we're getting into the meat of the tutorial. We get this welcome page here, and it's going to walk us through all of the different aspects of our tablet. So here we're on the home page, which is going to have all of our apps and things, and it's going to walk us through how to access all of these different options. So we're going to go ahead and click continue in the top bar there. That's our content pages, things like your home page, your books, your videos, your games, all of these different options that you have. You can scroll through there on the top of the screen. You can switch content pages by scrolling left and right. Pretty simple and straightforward. All right, so then we're going to click continue, and you can also scroll up and down on the pages as well to access all of the content that are in each content page. And then we're going to go to the next option. You have additional browsing content ability up there in the right-hand corner by looking at things that you've recently installed or purchased, as well as things that you can go to the shop and access. And then we're going to go ahead and click continue. The navigation bar at the bottom on the left, it's the back button. The middle is going to be the home button. On the right, it's going to allow you to access different applications that you've opened recently. So then we're going to move on from that. And then your quick settings is going to be at the top. You scroll down and you can change things like your screen brightness and different settings options up there. Pretty straightforward and very similar if you have a smartphone, uh, a lot of these different gestures. So now we're going to walk through the Alexa tutorial. Alexa is on your tablet. You can use your voice to open apps. Ask questions, play music and videos, and more. All you have to do is ask. Now it's going to give you the option that you can test these different types of commands if you want. We're going to go ahead and click continue and enable Alexa. You can disable it afterwards if you want. It will take a little bit of extra battery juice to always have it enabled. And so now I'm going to go ahead and test the weather option. Alexa. What's the weather in New York City? In New York, there's a coastal flood warning in effect Tuesday, November 27th from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. The current weather is 49 degrees Fahrenheit with showers. Tonight's forecast has lots of clouds with showers with a low of 40 degrees. All right, so now that we're done testing out the command, we're going to go ahead and exit out there in the upper right-hand corner and click Continue. It's going to allow you to do some advanced Alexa settings here if you want in terms of enabling it or not. We're just going to keep the settings how they are currently 
administered. So we're going to go ahead and click finish after that. Of course, you can always go back and change these settings if you want in that quick access tab specifically to turn on and off Alexa. So with having Alexa enabled, you just say Alexa and then it's going to be listening for that and then you can ask it specific questions. And just showing you here the top settings, you can drag them down and turn off Alexa in that bottom right hand corner in your quick settings. You're going to have other options in there as well. And then you can scroll through your different content options and select those. Also showing you how to switch between the content pages as well by scrolling left and right and then scrolling up and down to access all of the different content on these specific pages. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for stopping on in. Subscribe for more. I hope to see you back here for future videos.